Tens of thousands of anti-government protesters packed the streets of Minsk on Sunday, despite warnings that they could now come up against the Belarusian military. The Defence Ministry said it has now taken over the protection of memorials, following weeks of protests calling for President Alexander Lukashenko to step down. In a statement, the ministry described protesters as fascists and said, in capital letters, that if there was any violation of peace and order around monuments, quote, you will have the army to deal with now, not the police. <laughs> Olga, one of the protesters, said everyone in the capital's independent square was afraid, but that they have more faith than fear. Tens of thousands have protested since the country's election on August the 9th, which they say was rigged. Lukashenko's opponent in that poll, Svetlana Tukhanovskaya, fled to Lithuania for security reasons, but on Saturday told Reuters that she would not step away from her mission. Yeah, and I understand that I'm in safety here, but all the people who voted for me, who stayed in Belarus and who uh, are going on demonstrations now and who are striking now, they, <clears throat> they need me as a symbol. On Sunday, Russia, a powerful neighbour and ally for Belarus, issued some of its strongest criticism yet of Tikhonovskaya. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov described her role as intentionally destabilising and said her statements were directed at a Western audience. He added that there was no way to prove that Lukashenko did not win the election as there were no international observers present.